Hello. Today we're having Scarlett. <laughs> she just wanted to pop in and say hello. Hi guys. Say bye bye. Hey guys, it's your girl Melissa with Hubby. What's up? If you guys haven't guessed it already, we had our baby. I don't think I ever actually mentioned on YouTube, but because we haven't posted in a while, I'm sure you figured, right? We've been posting stuff on Instagram, a lot of you guys seen. I know. Her. Thank you guys for all the support and kind words. Um, and especially just being super understanding because a lot of you guys were like, it's fine, take your time with your newborn, enjoy, like, don't worry about posting. We'll still be here. So thank you. Ready? We're having five guys today. Mm -hmm. Hot dog, mayo, cheeseburger, mayo. Um, cheeseburger, bacon, fixins, hot dog, ton of fixins, Cajun fries. Cajun fries, oh my, huh? Just so you guys can kind of grasp the situation. There's still a whole bag full of fries. He's I love, I love it. He did hook it up, Hubby said, but they always do come huh. with a lot. What are you gonna have a bite of for? You know, my hot dog. I actually copied his mom's order. She got a hot dog with tomato, mayo, mushrooms, and grilled onions. Oh, in case you're wondering, where the hell is Scarlett? <laughs> She's back in the house. Yeah, with, sorry. With my mom. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, <laughs> too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I miss filming. Me too. We miss you guys. We know we could have done better in like pre-filmed stuff, but life happens. Mm -hmm. And we'll take you on a walk with how the last week's gone. Basically, Scarlett's a week and three days old. She's doing really well. She's very healthy. Mm-hmm. So is Mama. Mm-hmm. You guys should see my legs, though. They're freaking so swollen. <laughs> I've never had them look like this before. They're like elephant legs. I was telling Hubby, they look fake, like wax legs. And it only happened because, you know, the at the hospital, they've been pumping her with, like, um... A ton of fluids? Yeah. Oh my, I didn't walk into the hospital looking like that. I, in fact, I didn't start swelling like my legs until the last two or so weeks, I feel like. They're crazy. The only thing I can fit right now are my Crocs and barely. They're like sticking out. So I can't really go out and do anything because they look ridiculous. It'll it'll subside. Yeah. Soon. Mm. That hot dog though. I told hubby we need to make as little mess as possible because we recently got our car detailed. And we're in the truck today. But she got it detailed and she's being all Ah, don't put that there. Yeah. Ah, don't put that. Mm -hmm. Saved something for you guys. It was weird that you couldn't order cheese on their hot dog. You can. But it's weird on their app they can. Oh. Mm. I don't know if I've ever ordered a hot dog from them. That's really good, right? Mm hmm You know we didn't get a milkshake. Aw. Feels weird. And theirs is pretty yummy, huh? Heck, you're good. Let's see. Okay. What do you guys want to know? <laughs> All right. From the beginning. Friday, I was induced because of my 40 week appointment. I Zero. was not Zero. dilated at all. Zero centimeters, guys. So disappointing. I did all that date stuff, that curb walking stuff. Towards the end, I started drinking that um, raspberry leaf tea thing. So, is it Nothing. a myth that they work? I don't know. A lot of people swear by it. Mm -hmm. It did not help me. They did a balloon thing on me. And I was scheduled to go into the hospital the following day. And she gave birth Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. 646. 
so good. Melissa did so well. That was for sure one of the hardest things I ever had to do. And I look back at it, it was all a blur. Like, in that moment, it felt like it was, it lasted forever. But it, in fact, it was like so fast. Everything went by so fast. So, yeah, she was pushing for an hour and a half. And the nurses and the doctors said that it's usually for two to three hours. So she did really well. I don't know. You really Look, do get some, like, superhuman strength in you. Yeah, I I could never, and no man on this earth could <laughs> ever do what you women do. That's, I don't know. Hubby did so well. Oh, yeah, I watched. Yeah, because he was, like, very convinced. That, very, I would, that I would faint. That, that he would faint. Just because he gets kind of squeamish with blood and things like that. Or just, like, anything that could potentially be hurtful. hurtful yeah. Um, I did so well. I watched Scarlet come into this world. <laughs> but you're a beast, man. Good, good job, Mama. Immediately after that, after labor, I was like, uh, I can't do that again. That's. <laughs> but now I'm like, I can have another kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, drop some questions down in the comment section. And yeah, we'll try I'm to answer to, them in the next video. Yeah, I'm open to answering anything. Mm. Newborn life has been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. More fun, exciting, adventurous than it is tiresome and like draining and stuff. All you ever hear is parents talk about the negative and how tired they are and no one tells you how worth it it is mm. to to lose sleep and spend time with this little bundle of joy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For sure, don't get us wrong. Like, we're sleep deprived for sure, but yeah, so worth it. Um, like Hubby mentioned, his mom's actually watching Scarlet right now. And so, um, she's been so helpful. Like, we were able to catch up on some sleep with her watching Scarlet. But Hubby and I are so funny. Like, we miss her. Like, even if she's just in the other room. Last night, instead of going to bed. The whole separation anxiety or, like, postpartum. No, man. It's so real. Because mm -hmm. we got, like, the most sleep that we have since Scarlet's been here the last two nights because mm -hmm. my mom has been here mm -hmm. and we would literally wake up missing her yep. or she'd be sleeping and we'd miss her because we haven't been holding her and stuff like that mm -hmm. shit's real mm -hmm. well man everything is going so well so many blessings so happy we've been having so much help from everyone when they say it takes her a village. Her sister, MVP. Um, the, you know, her mom came, my mom came, my brother stopped by, her brother stopped by. But, like, people have just been helping us, like, family who's been staying with us, helping us care for her. And not just that, doing extra stuff for us, like, around the house, whether it's washing dishes, washing our clothes. Her clothes never end, like, laundry, um, sterilizing bottles. Blessings, man. Everything. And then family and friends sending us food and yeah, I know. desserts just to make sure we're taking care of it really does make such a difference you guys have no idea like not having to think about food because you're tired and yeah. Yeah. and and starting like prior to this journey or like prior to Scarlett being here Melissa and I were like very adamant on doing it on our own um, not a pride thing but like just just to get our feet wet and yeah you know just to have it us just us three and like we're not too proud to ask for help and you know god bless her sister she was there with us since day one yeah just you know never turn down help because it's always always easier with like a th fourth fifth sixth set of hands you know mm -hmm. sorry guys it's getting a little hot in the car anywho anywho 
what's been the best part for you? What's been the most surprising, best part, worst part of everything? I don't think there is a worst part. Mm -hmm. Everything's just so good. And I don't mean to sound like Mr. Positive, but there's too many. Too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> you are always super positive, though. Hubby's been mm, one of my favorite things. I know it's going to sound so cheesy. Is seeing hubby become a daddy. He's the best dad. But we all knew that. <laughs> everyone knew that. And everyone is saying that Scarlett looks just like him. He could have made her on her on his own. I don't know uh, what jeans I played in it. I hope she doesn't look like just like me growing up. <laughs> I want her to look like mama. <laughs> this with like super long hair. <laughs> nope. For me, the hardest part is, yeah, your maternal instincts kick in, but you can't just help being so nervous about everything. Mm -hmm. I will say, like, the first day or so was so stressful just because things came up and you're like, is this normal? Like, I, I don't know. Um... Stressing, Should we go to the hospital? Stressing about every little thing. Uh -huh. And then me still, like to right now, like when she's sleeping, I'm constantly checking if her chest is rising. Mm -hmm. Just make sure she's breathing okay and stuff and she's comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I'll ever grow out of that. Yeah. But yeah. You know. So good. They have all these gadgets and stuff nowadays. But they didn't even have like a few years ago. But they have that outlet thing. I don't know if that will make you sleep easier. Where you put it like on their foot. Mm. It's a monitor. So if like they're breathing or their heart rate's off, you get like alerted. But might stress me out more. Yeah, that's true, you know? <laughs> if there's like a defect, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything's just been so great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if there's anything you guys would like to know, uh, yeah, just ask away in the comments and we'll try to get to answering all of those in the next video. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, the support's so real, like from all of you guys, from family, from friends. It's been really nice. random but I got to eat oh no our Hi. camera overheated yeah it always overheats when we're in this car yeah. I don't know why well, maybe the AC is just not strong enough probably but like I was saying I was able to eat during labor like a lot oh yeah not active labor but like while we were kind of waiting and I was shocked stuff was not like the movies man what do you mean like, you know, you see movies and TV shows where, like, you know, they're having a baby or something like that. Uh-huh. You know, just like, like what you said, you're only allowed to eat ice chips. Oh, no drinking water. Mm-hmm. Melissa was eating the whole time. For the most part. She was good. Everything was great. Until after I, um, got an epidural. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was life-changing watching everything happen. little baby girl. I'm always thinking about her, man. Baby, She's baby our world girl. now. Mm -hmm. She's going to be a future mukbang, are you guys? Seriously. But that girl can, can eat. eat. Like, she better calm down because I can't, I can only produce some like milk. <laughs> and like, yeah, and Melissa's doing really well producing a butt ton of milk. Yeah, I don't know, man. Everything's just going great. <laughs> Couldn't be happier. Mm -hmm. Try to finish this hot dog. Wow. I hate when my food gets soggy. 
but even with the soggy bun. The hot dog is so good, right? Mm -hmm. They're hot dogs. Five Guys hot dogs. Mm. I think I'm done. One more bite of my burger. Soda, please. Anywho, be patient with us because filming's going to be a lot different these days. We'll, we'll be able to film, of course, only when someone's here mm -hmm. to watch Scarlet. Or we like take turns to film. Yeah. But, you know, we're still super excited. And thank you guys for being excited for us and happy for us. Mm -hmm. we, we, the three of us really appreciate it. Yeah. All righty. We love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see this face again. Keep it yummy. Mwah.